everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my fall favorites. There are so many things that I've been loving this fall and just really enjoying using and I've been really thankful for. Fall is actually my favorite season. I love this time of year. I love all the sweaters and wool hats and you're just starting to get into the cold weather and there's some snow here and there and all the leaves are turning colors. It's definitely my favorite season and so I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've really been loving. I've got my coffee here as usual and that is actually the first thing on the list is coffee. These last couple months I've been loving peppermint mochas. That always seems to become my favorite when it gets into the fall season and it's starting to get cold. I love peppermint mochas. And then more recently I've been loving pumpkin pie lattes. When I make the peppermint mochas I either use some cocoa powder and put it in there before I steam the milk so it combines and then I use some peppermint essential oil. Or we actually just got some chocolate coffee syrup at the store when we made our grocery run last week. So I'm really excited to try using that. And then for my pumpkin pie latte, it's just the Monin brand pumpkin pie syrup. The Monin brand is actually pretty healthy. It's gluten-free and non-GMO. And so it's definitely my favorite brand for, for coffee syrups. I generally don't buy a lot of coffee syrups, but for those kind of fall coffee flavors, I really love splurging a little bit on some coffee syrups because Coffee's my favorite. If you guys have been around for long at all, you'll know that I am all about the coffee. <laughs> the next thing on the list are pumpkin scones. I actually hadn't ever made these before until this fall, and I saw a recipe for them somewhere, and I'm like, this sounds amazing. I don't know why I've never heard of this before or ever tried this, and I made some, and they were delicious. I'll link the recipe down below. I did a gluten-free version. I just changed the recipe a little bit, and they were still so amazing, and moist, and not too dense, and just like, everything that you want in a scone. And they are my favorite flavor. I love pumpkin pie stuff. <laughs> and then the next thing is actually my favorite essential oil blend that I've been using. I love running our essential oil diffuser in our house. It just really helps lift my mood when it needs to be or it helps me get motivated to get some stuff done. I love using essential oils in our home. And right now my favorite blend is cinnamon, clove, and orange. It smells like someone is making a pot of wassail in the kitchen and it's just amazing and so I fill up my diffuser all the way until it's full with water and then I put about five drops of clove, five drops of cinnamon, and like eight drops of orange. That just makes the house smell amazing and so like fall. <laughs> and the next thing is pumpkin spice soap. I know there's a lot of pumpkin things on this list but that's what fall time is. I actually make my own soaps and my favorite one that this is actually my favorite soap I think for like year round but that's the pumpkin spice soap that I make and it's actually a hot press of soap and I put pumpkin puree in it before I put it in the crock pot and it's got a pumpkin pie spice blend and clove and cinnamon and orange essential oils and it is just amazing. It smells so good that I have actually a hard time not tasting it <laughs> but I know Stuff doesn't taste good even if it smells good. And next is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. It's a new shirt. I actually have a couple other colors of the same brand, same style, and I love them so much. I have a mustard yellow color and a gray, and this one's kind of more of a, I don't know, I guess that's kind of a reddish color. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But it's kind of a thermally material, and it's really, really hard for me to find long sleeve shirts that are long enough. And this, it doesn't like scoot all the way down here when I straighten my, straighten my arm out, which is rare for me to find a shirt like that. And it comes down all the way past my belly, which is crazy. I am 6'1", and I have the hardest time with shirt shopping. But I got these shirts at Walmart, and they were only like $9, so actually a pretty good price for a new shirt. And they've been like really high quality. They've held up really well. I got my first two like a year or two ago, and they haven't like had any wear or holes show up or like anything and I wear them all the time. Like even in the summer I wear these long sleeve shirts. But I especially like to wear them when I'm pregnant because the front part comes down a little bit more so it helps cover my belly. It's nice to have just a regular non-maternity shirt that I can wear when I'm not pregnant and also wear when I am pregnant and have my whole belly showing. So I will try to find these on Amazon and see if I can link them but I got these at Walmart. I think they have them at local Walmarts every year around this time. And then next are these plaid shirts. I love plaid so much. These are Jock's girlfriend? I think that's the 
Smith. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that first word right, but I love these plaid shirts. I have several different ones. I have another one that's like white and black checkers. And now normally I don't wear button down shirts as much, but in the fall time I love them. And when I'm pregnant, I love them. And right now it's both. So I've been wearing one of these plaid shirts like every day. You've probably noticed in my last few videos, I wear nothing but plaid. Sometimes I wonder if people notice like she wears plaid in every single video. <laughs> but I've had several of these shirts and then actually the same day that I got this shirt, I found this one at Costco and I was like, you know what? I wear these constantly and it was a really good price. So I figured I might as well just get another one. I think this was around $10, I think a little bit less, but for like a really high quality plaid shirt, I think that's pretty good. And especially since it's new, but like this one I bought like 10 years ago or something. Like I've had it since way before I was married, way back when I was training horses and in high school and it's like held up really well. It doesn't have any holes in it yet. And the next thing are wool socks. I love wool socks and I'm so excited when I finally get to start wearing them because they're so cozy. But in the summer my feet get so hot so I just I just can't, even though I, li I like them, I just can't bring myself to do it. But my favorite wool socks are actually ones that I found at Costco and I've been wearing them for years and years. But they're actually merino wool socks and I, I think they might be Kirkland brand but I'll find them, I'll try to find them and link them below for you guys but they're so soft and stretchy and they're not too heavy and like tight. They're just amazing. They feel so comfortable. And the next thing isn't something that is like for me per se, but it's actually a sweater that Sophia has been wearing lately. And it is the cutest thing ever. It just makes me so happy when I see her in it, but it's a little mustard yellow cardigan. Someone actually bought it for her for her baby shower, but I will try to look up the brand and find that one for you guys too, but it is just the cutest thing. And that is my absolute favorite color, that mustard yellow color, and she is just so adorable. <laughs> She's adorable all the time, but it's a little bit chilly in our house, so I've been having her wear sweaters just during the day, and that is definitely my favorite one to have her wear. And the next thing are these little matching headbands that I bought from Habibi House. That is an Etsy shop. These are handmade headbands, and there's a little there's one for me and there's one for Sophia so we can match and it's just so cute. Sophia's gotten a little bit less patience for headbands now that she's gotten older and she's figured out that she can pull things off of her head. So I don't always have her wear them when I wear mine but my favorite way to wear this is with my hair kind of in a high ponytail and some of my bangs out in the front and then the headband and it's just really cute. I love the style. And then sometimes I just I want to leave my hair down but I just want some of it out of my face and so I just put it you know, hold the hair back, but leave the rest of it down. That's the two the two ways I wear it, and it's just really soft and stretchy and comfortable, and really high quality, and I really like the color too. And then also fall decor. I'm not really the type to decorate for different seasons, but when it comes to fall, pumpkins and squash all over the house. I love it. There's a pumpkin behind me right now, but I love natural decor and pumpkins and squash are something that we're going to eventually eat so they're not gonna like pick up clutter and we're not gonna have to like store them like you would other decorations that are only seasonal so I put them out in the fall time and then when it gets to be a little later in the fall we turn the pumpkins into pumpkin pie and we eat squash and I like to can squash but I just love having them around just decor it just really makes me feel like it's fall time and then the next two things are actually have been some of my favorite things to do lately. Now I try my hardest to get up before Sophia, but you know, I love my sleep, so sometimes it's hard. But my favorite thing when, when this happens, which isn't every day, but my favorite thing is when I can get up before Sophia and I can make my coffee and I can sit and read my Bible and do my devotions and plan out my day. Typically what I do is once I finish making my coffee, I'll sit down and I'll pray and then I'll read my Bible and I read a chapter in the Old Testament and a chapter in the New Testament and then I'll get this little planner. Well, it's just, it's actually just a notebook. I am a sucker for cute notebooks. I have so many empty notebooks that are just adorable, but I don't really know what to do with them. But this one I use to write down everything that I need to do over the entire week. I'll highlight things that are really important to get done that particular day. And this really helps me stay on track. When I don't do my planning in the morning, it's just kind of a crazy day and just more unorganized and I don't really get as much done. So that all that whole routine just helps me to be way more productive, which then helps me feel better about myself and not be grumpy, which is always a good thing. And then the last thing is sitting by our fireplace. 
I was so, so excited when we started our fireplace for the first time this year. And lately it's been quite cold, so it's been going almost all the time. You can see the flames down there. But fall and winter time are just my favorite and I love it when it's cold outside and especially when it's snowing. I love the snow. And so I just love sitting by the fireplace. Obviously with a cup of coffee is better, but just seeing the fire going just makes me happy. I don't know why, but just having a fire in the fireplace just makes me feel happy inside. So that's been one of my favorite things too. So I think that's it for my fall favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was entertaining. I know it was kind of a random assortment of things, but those are just some of the things that I've been really thankful for and enjoying this fall season. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.